April is Financial Literacy Month, and there's been a good deal of research on how increasing financial education leads to sound decisions, better decisions. Question is, how do you actually quantify that impact? CNBC's senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson has some answers on that. Good morning. How good doing, morning. Sharon? Good, good, Becky. You know, about two thirds of Americans are deemed financially illiterate by some reports. Many high schools around the country are working to change that. And I've visited classrooms in several cities over the past year, talked to students, and watched financial education in action. 11th graders in Queens, New York, are honing a business idea. So this product would cost around $15. For a competition for young entrepreneurs. In Nashville, they're building on classroom lessons to simulate how to manage money in a future career. Taxes, banking. And in Winooski, Vermont, high school students are creating a budget for their first apartment. Okay. So we're going to play a little Price is Right. All are investing in tomorrow through the financial education classes they're taking today. It's something you need to do, not just in school, but you have to do it when you grow up, when you get a job, you have to buy a car, a house. A new report finds the lifetime value of taking a high school personal finance class is about $100,000 for each student, a cumulative benefit of saving regularly and reducing risk. When you look at what happens when a student does not get a financial literacy class and they don't understand interest rates and credit scores, by and large, they're not able to really compare the interest rates on loans and they don't really understand the implications of taking on high interest rate debt. The share of U.S. high school students taking a semester-long personal finance course before graduation is growing fast, from nearly 17% in 2018 to 26% this year, to more than half by 2030 when new policies are fully implemented. You guys want to jump right into it? And these students say the class will be valuable for their personal finances and their careers. Do you think that that is making you more financially savvy for whatever you do going forward? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Taking this class and having this opportunity really opened my, my mind into like this experience and obviously we're all having a lot of fun. Now, 25 states have adopted policies that guarantee all of their public high school students will take a semester-long personal finance class before they graduate. But even in states where there's not a requirement, many cities and school districts have their own policies on providing financial literacy classes, Becky. I am so glad to see this because it's I think wonderful. this is something that's a really long time coming. Yep. But you could ask the question if high school is even too late. You've got states like New Jersey where they actually require this by middle school. Absolutely. Well, there are studies that show that by the age of 12, by middle school, that students do have the capacity to understand some complex economic concepts. They know about brands. They know how to value what they want and what they need in those ways. And so that there are those that say it really should begin in sixth grade, and that's what New Jersey's doing. I mean, it's a great thing. This is the th one of the classes you can probably take the most out of and get the most absolutely, life absolutely lessons out of through the whole thing. And the thing that that really the reason why so many studies show that Americans are financially illiterate is because of the issues in managing risk, managing credit, mm -hmm. and get falling into those traps. And learning that early on is really what's beneficial. And what the students that I've been talking to talk about is they know now what it takes to get a good credit score. They know what they need to do. And imagine being able to understand that, getting better rates on student loans, getting better rates on auto loans, on everything that they're going to perhaps use in terms of credit and, and debt. And that is what is getting you to that six-figure lifetime benefit. I mean, you need that more than so many other classes that I can think of. Yes. It's really important. Yeah.